Hi everybody, Russell Cummings here. Just wanted to talk to you today about growing Australian horticulture, about how we grow our Australian industries. I think our industries are under great pressure, but they also have a fantastic future. Over the last 28 years, I've worked closely with a wide range of Australian rural industries. And when I reflect on the common characteristics of the more successful groups, I come up with these three key areas. Their strategy, leadership and development. Let's talk about each of them in turn. So in terms of strategy, what I'm talking about here is I've found the most successful groups have a clear, coherent strategy for industry growth. That strategy is usually consumer facing rather than inward facing. So it's a very consumer focused strategy and it's focused on long term issues um, and, and addressing those as well as fixing some of the short term problems in industry. It's critical we have a clear strategy and plan for moving the industry forward. The second key element then is leadership. So once we've got our strategy and our plan, we need leadership in order to help us implement that plan. And I don't think we should underestimate the impact of a small leadership group at the top of industry who drive these strategies and make it happen. But what we don't often do is build the quality of that leadership and also build for the future. So we're finding I think many Australian industries are in a position where their leadership um, ranks are starting to diminish. And I guess if you know if we have strategy um, and and leadership, then the third element to think about then is development or growth. So if you've got a good strategy being implemented by great leaders, we need to build the capacity of our industry to take advantage of that. And by capacity, I'm talking about business, entrepreneurial, planning, problem solving, people management, marketing skills. So all those those core business skills that we often don't utilize in horticulture. Too often we're focused just on production and not enough on business skills. So what I'm talking about here is the industries that have a development program that puts their people through um, skills development around quality business skills. So the three elements there that, that I look at are then, you know, strategy, leadership and development. Now interestingly, they're the same elements that you need to have in your business. So you need to have a good strategy, you need to have a good plan for your business, you need to lead your team well. And lastly, you need to have a team with the skills and the ability to implement the strategy under your leadership. So for me this raises, a, I guess, a couple of key questions. and. Um, if I think about strategy, the questions there are, how effective is your industry strategic plan? Is it focused on delivering tangible industry growth? And is the consumer at the forefront of your plan? In terms of leadership, I think questions like, what investment is your industry making in building leadership and encouraging the next generation of leaders to step up? Does your industry body have a leadership development and succession plan? Are we building a talent bank of talented and skilled people coming through to take over from our current leadership. If not, why aren't we doing that? It's the th sort of thing we should be doing in our businesses as well. And lastly, in terms of development, is your industry investing in the development of improved business planning and problem solving skills in order to increase uh, the quality of our management across the industry base? Are you encouraging members to participate in business skills training, courses, seminars, webinars, not on production and, and um, processing type operations, but on the core business skills of marketing, planning, problem solving, people management, those sort of skills. Now, in summary, I believe Australian horticulture has a great future. Magnificent environment, a stable economy, a skilled workforce, wonderful products that are healthy and nutritious. All these are great ingredients for future success. But I also know that unless we build the capacity and the capability of our industry to adapt to the challenges of the future, then our future success is less certain. So there are some medium term strategies here that I believe require some short term action, otherwise we're going to be too late. So we need to start building capacity and capability across our industries to take advantage of the future. So that note. Russell Cummings, and this has been about growing Australian horticulture. Thanks. Talk to you again soon. Bye.